We want to get out now live to our Jason Allen. He is in Port Lavaca. Uh, it sounds like, at least what I'm hearing my ear here, uh, Jason, that, that rain is picking up there where you are. Yeah, Steve, it's probably in just the last 15 minutes or so that we've had some of the heaviest rain bands yet work their way in here to Port Lavaca. And of course, the wind has been gusty. That has been going for several hours. You know, winds probably going at least 25 miles an hour, gusting up into the high 30s. And so we are starting to get that sideways rain, at times very, very heavy rain. I'm going to show you uh, what the what the Lavaca Bay actually looks like too, because you know there's been some concern, obviously, with the storm surge, what flooding could potentially do. Uh, the 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 National Hurricane Center actually raised the forecast up in this area from four to six feet to four to seven feet here in the late evening hours. It, it, we have seen the water visibly come up a little higher here. In fact, now you can see it's washing all the way up the wall. We didn't see that at all this afternoon. So all of that twist uh, that Jeff was just showing you, all that wind out there, it's kind of pushing that water up into the bay. And, and I wouldn't be surprised to see the levels of water come up higher here as the wind continues to blow over the next couple of hours. Good thing is, at least for people on this side, it does look like this is ending up to be maybe the cleaner side of the storm, which means less rain. We've continued to watch the rain bands sort of die out as they're reaching us, probably less wind too. Of course, that's not good news for the people on the other side of the storm. But to this point, we haven't seen any of the most serious impacts from a, that a storm like this could have, at least here, Steve, in the Port Lavaca area.